I hope there's not a lot of noise in this mic. Let me turn this off. Yay, no air conditioning. If the audio is bad, let, let me know, uh, everybody. Anywho, uh, welcome everybody to this live stream that I am doing on YouTube. A rarity. Last time I, last time I streamed on YouTube, it was an utter disaster. But here we are. Hopefully this one doesn't end in disaster, but I kind of doubt it will. Cause I planned for this occasion. And this tile screen is a little dated because I uninstalled uh, I uninstalled Shipwrecked because I wanted to listen to the original menu theme. Not the others are bad, of course, but there's no option to change them, so that's unfortunate. Anywho. How is everybody? Bought this game and have yet to play this game despite how enthused you were when watching the trailers. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's kind of hard to get into. Kind of a daunting game, in a way. There's a lot to learn about it. The only reason I got into it back then is because uh, on my brother's PS4, I believe Don't Starve was free on PlayStation Plus at the time. So, he got into it on there, and I watched it, and I thought the game looked interesting, so then I got into it. So, that's kind of how I got into Don't Starve. At least back then, I haven't played it in a very long time. Uh, it's a shipwrecked- it's a shipwrecked file. Did I really survive for 37 days, or is that just my 37th attempt? I don't really, I don't really know. Anywho, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, let me know if there's anything up with the audio. Hello, Chris B. Oh, and also hello, Shara. Really like Really like that Terraria has a boss from here. Spoilers! No, I'm kidding. I, I already knew about it. Um, yeah, it's really cool that uh, Terraria has a boss in this game. I nev I've never gotten to fight it, though. Oh, wait, wasn't it in Don't Starve Together, though? I don't know if they updated this to have... I don't know if they updated the original to have the Eye of Cthulhu and Twins boss, or if it's just Don't Starve Together that has it. If I had to guess, it's probably just Together, because I believe the Twins is meant to be fought with two people. New game. What is DS? Oh, DS is just Don't Starve. Now here is the question. Do we do regular plain old vanilla don't starve? Or do we do reign of giants? That is the question. Hello Kira. It is a very Adams Family-esque style to it, and the music is very appropriate. It's very Halloween-y. Yeah, I agree. This definitely does give Halloween vibes, for sure. And it appears my dogs are barking. What characters do I have? 
I have Wilson, Willow, Wolfgang, Wendy, Wix, Wickerbottom. It appears I have not unlocked any others. Wait. I thought Wagstaff was exclusive to Hamlet. I guess not. Um, I'm like, I'm just gonna play Wilson, cause he's vanilla, and I'm vanilla. I, I genuinely don't know if I want to do regular Don't Starve or Reign of Giants. I suppose it doesn't really, I mean, it does matter. Dogs barking, cannot fly without umbrella. If you ever watch Jumping Jack Flash, Whoopi Goldberg. It makes sense. <laughs> We're vanilla too. It's fine. Everybody's vanilla. Everyone has a little bit of vanilla in them. That should be a song. The thing is, I feel like, I think Don't Star, original Don't Starve has the, uh, character progression. Or sorry, not the character, what I mean by character progression is, uh, the main story progression where you actually can get to the end of the game, to my knowledge. And Reign of Giants, I think, has, like, a bunch of... Mainly adds a bunch of bosses and stuff. I might just do Reign of Giants, cause... And that yellow vanilla you buy at the store. Ooh, that kind of vanilla. That's a... That's a fun kind of vanilla. You know, screw it, we're doing Reign of Giants. I'm pretty sure Don't Starve Together defaults to Reign of Giants, so... Started a game so many times after an hour of playing, you feel like you're failing and stop. That's kind of how I felt playing this game a lot of the time. Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. Find something to eat, I shall. After all, this game is called Don't Starve. You know what's funny? This game's, you know, obviously the title of it is Don't Starve, and all the marketing has it to where, you know, the primary objective is to not starve. Yet, in the end, I think starving is how I've died the least in this game. Like, that's like the least of my concerns. Anywho, it has been a hot minute since I have actually played this game. All I know is that you need to grab sticks and twigs like a maniac and make a campfire as soon as possible. I swear cult lamb and don't starve. Should have a love child, it'd be priceless. Yeah, cult lamb does have a somewhat similar art style. So it has that pop-up book energy. I never played Cold of the Lamb, but when I saw it, I'm like, this, remi this reminds me of Don't Starve. Oh my gosh, it's a turkey thing. I forgot its name. So I remember that uh, these kinds of trees drop special nuts 
but there is a rare chance that one of them can turn into a mini boss if you try to chop them. At least that's what I remember. So, that's a good question. So the original Don't Starve, which is uh, what I'm playing, is a single player only game. It was basically designed that way. However, they made a sequel called Don't Starve Together, which is essentially the exact same game, except multiplayer. And it's kind of a it's kind of a double meaning. Don't starve together. You know, you can play with others. Don't starve together. Mirage Zephyr, how are you doing? Was good. Glad to see a lot of people here. I hope you all are doing well. Oh yeah, I like the animation too. Of the water. It, it, it gives it... It gives it a lot of the... Pop-up book energy, in a way. Playing Terraria, everybody's favorite game. I mean, some people don't like it. That's okay. But mostly the favorite of millions. Terraria truly never does get old. I'm pretty sure Terraria will be as timeless as ever. No, there are no mods right now. I actually debated on installing the original menu theme mod because I wanted to have the original music for the title screen over Shipwrecked. And I guess Hamlet, but I don't own Hamlet. I should probably make a fire, shouldn't I? Oh, you're talking about the Terraria mods. Oh, you're talking about Terraria mods to share. Gotcha, gotcha. Why not? I'll I'll set up a miniature base of operations here. It has been so long since I have played this game. There's a lot of stuff that I have completely forgotten about it. The character, the character I'm playing as is supposed to look like Edgar Allan Poe or my hallucin hallucinogens. <laughs> you know, I, you know what? Let me see if I can, let me see if, let me see if we can get a comparison going. If his hair stuck up more often, I could see it. I don't really see it, but I wouldn't blame you. Both characters are, I mean, Wilson is, uh, he, he is, he's a character.
I wouldn't be surprised if he was an author. I, I think he's... I think the thing with Wilson is that he wants to be a... He's a wannabe scientist. Because, uh, like, uh, the original trailer for the game, or the opening cinematic, um, was it has uh, Wilson trying to be, you know, a scientist and conduct a bunch of experiments, all of them going wrong until he gets a call from Maxwell on his radio that who gives him the knowledge on how to create a portal it was a trap and then Wilson jumped into the or he didn't jump into the portal he activated it not knowing what it would do and that led him to here which is the constant, which is what I believe it's called. It's an interesting name for a world. The constant. Terraria kind of has a story if you dig really deep into, like, other pieces of media. There's, like, a little bit of lore to it, but it's not a lot. It's never really explained in-game. The most I know about the lore of Terraria is stuff... It's not really that much. It's about, you know, how... The Dryads fought to, uh, you know, keep Cthulhu away, or something like that, and... What is that? Uh... And then, um, I do know that the mechanical bosses were forged by the mechanic herself by force. I don't really use life crystals until I get out of the cave I'm in. Because I usually gather a bunch of life crystals in a cave in Terraria. And I hold on to a lot of them. And my friends are like, Ryder, what are you doing with a bunch of heart crystals in your inventory? You could be using them. Get some extra health. I'm like, I'll use them when I'm out. It's like, why? Because that way I have a dedicated inventory slot for these... Holy crap, it's a beefalo. I forgot these exist in the game. Don't mind if I pick up your manure. This one looks alone. This game is too fancy for its own good. I can kind of see that. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell where a bunch of different things is. Or where a bunch of different things are. Because, was it, the world itself is 3D, but all of the characters and animation and stuff are 2D. So it's hard to like keep track like exactly what their positional spot is. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. Sometimes I have trouble with perception in this game.
Those are bison. Haw. Oh my gosh, it's a beehive. Oh right, I should probably make this. What do the green mushrooms do again? I forgot. I feel like eating them are, is a bad thing. I can't entirely remember. Whoa. For real. What the? What the heck? Why is it snowing? This. <laughs> what? What did I do? What did I... What did I do? Oh, no. I think this was a bad thing, guys. Oh, I'm getting cold. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting cold. I think that was a trap. A deliberate, dirty trap. I have never seen that before. Why is it snowing on day two? It's not supposed to snow until, like, day 20. And now I'm lacking inventory space. At least I get a free winter hat. I guess that was a curse. What's this? What's this? There's white things in the air. What did I do to deserve this? Is this something gonna happen if I open the ice box? Oh, no. So it's a free ice box. Can I get it? I I would I would love a free ice box. That sounds incredible. I am utterly failing at this game. <laughs> at least I look pretty with flowers in my hair. Ah, yes. I look like... I look gorgeous. I look gorgeous with this, this garland. Did I just... I'm genuinely concerned for the safety of this world because I really hope... Don't get through a refrigerator. You're not Indiana Jones. You're right. I'm simply better. Wilson here is simply better than Indiana Jones. He is an archaeologist and... I don't think he's an archaeologist. I see you, Mirage. Thanks for stopping by. There's a game called Cozy Grove that has the same flavor to it that Don't Starve does. Interesting. I 
That sounds a little familiar, but I don't think I've heard of it. I guess you could say Christmas came early. <laughs> Gosh. Can I make a hammer? Smash this stuff? I want it. I can, if I have three rocks. Good thing I do not have three rocks. This is quite... A troubling predicament. I might have to abandon my garland. I must now remind myself, if there is a chest sitting out in the open, for the love of everything that is holy, do not open it. I didn't mean to enter that. But you know what? It's winter. I might as well take the plunge. It's Christmas time in the city. The snow is building up rapidly. Whoa. I'm gonna equip the garland again because it's not it's not freezing in here. This looks suspicious. Hmm. I'll keep those carrots there. I've never really properly explored the caves before. Wait. It's cold in here too! <laughs> oh, come on, man. I guess that makes sense. But now I'm gonna freeze. How bad is this for me? I was incredibly bad. Uh, I'm never doing that again. Oh my god, I'm even freezing in here. I'm getting out of here. The caves shall not be explored. What are those things? Yes, please get me out of here. Darkness truly is my enemy. Oh my gosh, it's too cold for the winter hat to handle. I have to make a... I have to make a station away from this base because bats are now swarming. I have a feeling that this run is going to result in disaster. And I planted my campfire near a graveyard. I don't think that was a very sane thing to do. I 
I might as well start finding a place for a proper base. Screw it. Right here. Oh my god, I don't have enough rocks. What was I thinking? I'm still facing the cold like a champ. I've... Anything that... Anything you can learn from is a good experience. And walk away from even better. Y'all are right. I am now inspired by my failures. Because that just means I am learning more about the game. Screw it, we're building a base right here. Oh dear lord, we need a gold nugget. Well the, well, the berries are about to spoil, so I might as well eat them. Trey, retrospective video is amazing. You've turned some folks on to the game because of it. I thank you. I really appreciate it. That's really cool to hear. I'm actually really glad that it's able to inspire other people to try the game. It just warms my heart. And I mean that. I really shouldn't be doing nothing. But also, winter came early for some reason. It's realistic how foods spoil over time, but good gracious, it seems like it's happening too fast. It kind of does spoil a little quickly, although it has been three days and these berries are still somewhat fine. So... I guess it is a little fast. I don't know if berries would last much longer in real life or not. I'm not an expert. And I need to pick up flowers because I am losing sanity. Starving will kill me. That is absolutely right. And you know what else will kill me? The ever bitterness of the cold. Get me back to my base ASAP. Where is it? It's right here. How could this happen on day... <laughs> day two? It was day two. I opened a chest and it summoned winter.
This is maddening. I have no way of making a warmth stone, which is my most effective means of traversing winter. So that makes me question. That makes me question. Will this provide heat? Or is it another waste of my resources? Oh my god, it's so wintry that the penguins have come out early. Look at all this free stuff. Am I gonna get poisoned because I picked up all this free stuff? Well, I don't have any room for it, first off. It appears the torch helps. But at the rate I'm going at, that means I constantly have to make torches every two seconds. Uh, we'll temporarily drop the poo. I need the gold. it. I'll make another torch. Might have to light the hat on fire or cook a penguin. See, now, if there's one thing I remember about Don't Starve, it's that penguins are freaking evil. They will destroy you if you try to attack them. Otherwise, I would I would have baked them into a fine drumstick meal. That being said, it's time to gain my sanity back. Does this actually slow the decrease of... Okay, so let's think about this. Where's the warmth stone? I need the warmth stone, because holy heck, I will die out here if I do not get a warmth stone. No, make friends with the penguins like Oswald and Cobblepot did back in Batman Returns. You're right. Uh, the thermal stone requires an alchemy engine. Okay, well, how do I make an alchemy engine? Oh, it only requires... that. Alright, we're gonna have to prototype everything real quick. There's one thing I do know, it's that I'm going to die. Death is only a transition to the spirit world. Embrace the hunger and cold. I think that's what I'm about I'm I'm about to have to do. Give me this backpack right now. <laughs> I need the inventory space. Oh, actually, one th cool thing about winter is that I this ice here, I can mine it, and it counts as food. So if I wanted to, I could survive off of ice.
Now then. Where is the... Okay, let's prototype cut stone. Where do I get... How do I... How do I prototype a battery? I don't know what it's under. As well. I like spears. Would it be under light? It would not. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, this was it. It was under electrical doodad, which means I need more gold. Just stay away from the yellow snow. Today's events, I think, I think yellow snow is the least of my worries. Okay, I have 40 sticks. Which means I can no longer collect sticks. Good thing about growing a beard is that it provides warmth. If I wanted to play a game called Jackass, I could track down a co-elephant via these tracks and uh, try to kill it for food. And, of course, the past comes back to haunt me. Because I am now starting to freeze again. Give me a portable light source. Oh my god, I'm still cold? Never mind, I don't think this is as effective as I thought. I might have to make a, per a temporary base here just to deal with the fact that I am in fact cold. I didn't plan this out. This is why winter comes 20 days after you start the game. The only way you're growing... Go. Those penguins scared the absolute mess out of me. Literal jump scare.
the only way you're they need to create a big burly Henry Cavill character that can keep the character warm. That would be nice now, wouldn't it? I think Wilson is the only character that can grow a beard. I'm pretty sure that's his defining character trait. Birds, uh, quarantine. Did I just wake? Oh my god, I woke it up. I woke it up. I woke it up. Go away. I am busy hunting. Alright, it must be nearby. This should be, uh, yes. Alright. We have fresh meat. Here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna create the 117th base. I'm gonna walk away from it. Wait for it to go to sleep. And now I'm going to royally... Oh my god, it took a poop. Now I'm gonna beat it up. No, 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 no. Come here, go back to sleep. Alright, let's beat it up. That was a bad idea. <laughs> That was a really bad idea. I didn't think it was powerful enough to one-shot me. But I guess I was on low health. Tag of the Pillared Penguins, whose coos and clucks bring fear to the masses. Progress far longer than you have in this game. Well, I survived four days. You know, for the conditions I was I was put in, I would say it could have gone worse. We're trying again because having winter on day two is just the worst now, isn't it? Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. Alright, let's try this again. Take two. There a god mode in this game? Probably. I'd imagine there's at least a mod for it. I'm pretty sure there is, because I see a lot of, um, I've binged quite a bit of Don't Starve content lately, and some of the creators use some kind of god mode to spawn in a bunch of stuff to make points in their videos.
collapsed rabbit hole. the night sky green is it spring if I enjoy Stardew Valley played any Coral Island it's still 1.0 version I haven't played Coral Island but I've been playing a ton of Stardew Valley recently I will say I may be playing it for very specific, uh, very specific reasons. I may not have written a bunch about it in a, in a certain script. Yeah, cause like normally when it's, when it's, uh, when it's dusk, it's normally, uh, what is it? I can't think today. This guy is normally... This guy here is normally red. This guy here is green. And plus it was playing springtime music. How is it spring already? Is the, is the season you start in random? Coral Island has to fix some issues, but once they iron out, the game should be really, really good. Interesting. I should, I should probably check that out. I don't think I've heard of it until now, or maybe I have, and I just forgot about it. But it seems to be interesting. told me I, you enjoy Stardew at Valley, you say you're crazy, but it's an infectious game. It is infectious. Once you start it, you can't stop it. That has been the case with me for the past few days. So I may or may not have been playing it a bunch for a very specific reason that may or may not be related to a project that I may or may not be working on. Also, ice. Oh. Wait, it's about to turn dark. I should probably, like... Well, I am now set for the night. Now I am set for the night. While I wait for this, I'll be right back and get something real quick. Oh my god, it's raining.
It's the first day. Coraline's fancy version of Stardew Valley where they pay homage to Genius, which is Eric. Well, oh, that's really cool. So there are already games inspired by Stardew Valley. That's really cool. I'm really excited for Haunted Chocolatier as well. It might be one of my most anticipated games, probably. I hope we hear more about it this year. Doesn't really even have to be like a release date or anything. It can just be like a new trailer, maybe a few screenshots. Because I know Eric kind of ha halted, kind of halted development of it to work on Stardew 1.6. But now 1.6 is done, I think maybe he might return to it? I don't know. Oh right, since it's raining and I'm getting wet, my food will spoil faster. a down-to-earth good guy. He see he really does seem like one. I definitely I would definitely be interested in meeting him. At like, I don't know, convention or something. I don't know if he goes to those or not. Everything is soggy! My clothes appear to be water permeable. My kryptonite crystal, the kryptonite crystals or whatever they are. I think that's ice, but I'll mine some. I'm freezing, are you kidding me? I'm just trying to live. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day, please. Soggy ice. Mmm, yummy. Oh my gosh, it is day two. Did I set the seasons to random? My kingdom for an umbrella is this dawn rain. Curse the elements. Why do they haunt me to the way they do? Because apparently... Apparently Clay doesn't want me to enjoy Don't Starve. Oh my god, it stopped raining. I need to think of a place to have a base ASAP. This is a wonderful area. I will... You know what? Actually, I don't know if I should make a base here. But I will. 
I'm working on it, game. You can't rush perfection. Alright, so what was I doing? Science machine. See, now last time I got stupidly lucky by getting a ton of good materials at the cost of my life. Oh! That's what that's for! I should probably make that. A Don't Starve Zomboid crossover. I don't know if they've done that or not. They've done quite a few crossovers. I know they did Terraria crossover. I don't think they've... I don't know what I, I don't know what else they've done a crossover with. I think Terraria is the only crossover I can think of that they did. That's just too gosh darn depressing, Chris. Give me a backpack. I need the inventory space. What was I doing? All right. The name of the game. Not starving. Okay, so. I could probably, hmm. You know, if I do this, do this, how many rocks do I have? Well, whatever amount I have, it's not enough to make an alchemy engine. So wait a minute, I just realized so one of my deaths in this game a long time ago was sometime in the spring there was a there was a crazy frog rain and it absolutely murdered me. If it's spring now and it's possible for that to happen again, I might be in trouble. Because it's day one. Sorry, it's not day one, it's day two. But I mean, it, it's the first season. Forgive my awful math. Not starving, bloated and suffering from indigestion. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, so it's a wet fire pit. Everything's still suffering from being wet. Well, I stopped being wet days ago. I think the world needs to man up and stop being wet. The hissing spider plush for me. Ah, yes. I can go to bed every night knowing that there's a hissing spider right next to me. As I as I frantically try to get out my spear, but then realize I don't have a spear. Whoa. 
This is suspicious. I think I've learned my lesson from last time about mysterious objects. I'll keep a note of this. Oh, my sanity goes down drastically when near, uh, near that. <laughs> Phrasing. Stop playing the spring music. I'm already stressed enough as is. That YouTube, that YouTube channel with the anime little spider. Just take deep cleansing breaths. It's all gonna be okay. You're not gonna starve and don't starve. Because everyone lives and don't starve. You have got to be kidding me. I think it's time to make that pretty parasol. Nice sound design. Stupid alchemy engine. Well, now I have access to way more things. You find them all in your travels. There's bound to be a food court. Why not? Charcoal? These berries are gonna spoil if I don't eat them. Well, gosh, that was, uh... was a gnarly strike. I don't think I picked a very good spot for a base. Those things are, uh, pretty dangerous. There's another, so we just passed an entrance to- <gasps> Ooh. I have no idea what this does. 
but I think it might keep me safe. But it also takes off my backpack, so I don't think I need it. I just realize it's turning night. And I am in the middle of nowhere. Appears that this umbrella doesn't protect me that much. Protects me a little bit. Not that much. Oh, I just realized this fire is going to die. Don't Starve is far more entertaining when it's being played by someone competent like myself. I don't know if that's a compliment, but uh, thank you. I consider myself uh, the bare minimum. Or, sorry, no, not the bare minimum. I consider myself the bare minimum for passable at this game. <laughs> The umbrella looks like it'll snap at the wind. It really is the most flimsy umbrella in existence. Turn day already. I really don't know what I did to, des to deserve having spring be the first season I deal with. Oh my god, it's not raining. This is the best day of my life. big tree. I want to cut down one more big tree. Yeah, I guess Wilson probably put a massive amount of hair gel in before he got plunged into the constant. Getting late. It will be dark soon. I want to see where this wormhole takes me. 
I'm sure it'll be just fine. Oh. Well, this is relatively close to... Hey now, when Terraria is released in a 3D format, that would be the best day of my life. Minecraft is just Terraria in 3D. See, I didn't really realize it much until I was getting footage of Minecraft for the Terraria retrospective, but the games actually kind of feel quite a lot more different than you would expect. Raccoons? How curious. Deadpool popcorn container. I don't think I've the dead the Deadpool popcorn thing has teeth. That's strange. Oh yeah, the Dune worm. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. What is this? Huh. Interesting. Gobble, gobble. I'm jumping back in the wormhole. There's a film called Teeth. It's, uh, it's fascinating. Sounds like a horror film. What was that noise that I just heard? I need to eat. Very well, I will not watch it. If I am told not to watch something, that's a pretty safe bet that it is something that I will not like. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a thermal stone. Thermal stone is um, incredible, and I wish I had it last time, but I didn't have the stupid alchemy engine. 
Now what was I doing? I need a rotten egg for gunpowder. Speaking of horror films, I was... I've actually never seen any of the Saw movies. I was... When I was sick a while back, I tried... Or it was a few weeks ago. I tried to watch it, but then I remember that I was sick. And I'm like, oh, I should probably not be watching this because I'm sick. Oh right, I just used my big axe to craft a thermal stone, which is currently doing nothing at the moment. And I'm gonna have to make another pretty parasol soon. Wait, I should have I should make a straw hat. I need grass. Saw films aren't that scary from what friends have s said. Deal with fantasy horror easier since it's never going to happen. Saw still could happen. That's a big no. Makes sense. That's, that's true. Horror films... I haven't really seen a horror film yet that has truly scared me. And again, I don't watch that many horror films. I've only seen a few. Um... I don't, I haven't seen that many recently, um, none of them have really scared me, like, to the point of, gosh, that's gonna terrify me for weeks. Mainly, some of them I've watched have just been unnerving. I wanted to watch, and I wanted to watch Saw, because I like the concept of it. Like, I think it's an interesting narrative idea. I've just never seen it. So I was like, you know what? I'm trying to find a movie to watch because I'm sick. And so I decided, you know what? Let's wipe Saw off of my backlog. Please do not attack me. Um, okay. They are not attacking me. And then a few minutes into watching Saw, I was like, right, I'm sick. This is not a movie I should be watching when I am sick. I missed the uh, Coelephant Trail, didn't I? Where was it hiding? The wet sill. You dirty rain. I hate rain. Hello, my name is Ryder. I used to be a rain fan. Until now. The rain could happen. I, I've never seen the ring, so I wouldn't really know what happens in there. I haven't seen a lot of movies. I I kind of I kind of live under a rock when it comes to a lot of films.
Like, there's a bunch of, like, absolutely mandatory films out there that I just have not seen. At least one day, if I ever become absolutely bored, I at least have a backlog of masterpieces to watch. And what do I need to craft that pretty parasol? I have it. I'm gonna need that because I'm very wet. Sometimes the under-the-radar films are the best. A lot of gems to experience. That's very true. There's a lot of films that... haven't really been watched that many that are actually masterpieces. Sometimes there are a lot of films that are watched by many that are... overrated. Like Star Wars. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Stop. I'm talking about modern Star Wars. I'm not gonna get into that rabbit hole. Yeah, I think with games like those, I I think I don't think like you could play those forever and never truly be bored. I can't place that. Oh, right, I have to do it on unchecked ground. Shoot. It's hound time. I hear the barking. Imagine 10 years down the line, folks will want to reinvent Stardew Valley for a new d d generation, and it will be on Apple Vision Pro. I have no idea how that would work. <laughs> yeah. If they can get it working, and it's good, then hey, maybe that could be interesting. The hounds are coming. All right, come at me. Just the one. It's just the one. Wow. Oh god, I'm getting hot. Wait a minute. I'm getting hot. Why am I becoming hot? Are you kidding me? Oh god. I don't like that I'm getting hot. I need to... That worked. <laughs> So you can punch Haley in the virtual game for telling you your farmer clothes make you look poor. 
that's the true magic of Apple Vision Pro Stardew Valley. Get to punch the... Get to punch Haley. Oh, I should probably drop this. Uh... What was I doing? Oh, yes, I need... Uh, how do I make a crockpot? I need to burn more trees. Because the game is right. It is about time I made better food. The stuff I'm w making right now won't cut it. With that being said... Where on earth is the thing I was looking for? Hmm. I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have plucked that carrot. I don't really need a marble floor. I'm melting! I'm melting! Oh, what a world, what a world. Holy crap! That raccoon just incinerated that bird. being messaged on Steam. Why am I being told to check Discord? that. It is a cute raccoon. Alex deserves a throttling too. He's an HR nightmare with your character when she's a woman. <laughs> you tried romancing all the characters and until you tenhard Alex, he's such a tool. I do hear Alex is kind of not, is kind of a jerk. He's also, although he is, uh, what is it? I know he did, uh, what is it? He did lose his mom, I think. That's why he lives with his grandparents in that game. So... I... I can kind of sympathize... with them. Because that is tragic. But... That ain't an excuse for bad behavior. I am utterly lost. I am making a temporary base right here. 
I'm not eating monster meat because I remember that that does drain sanity. Or health, one of the two. <laughs> you know, it's like a meme or something that, like, everyone loves Robin, but, like, Robin can't be... Robin can't be romanced. That's when you ask Robin if they're into through balls. A, a Robin. A Robin. Have you ever heard of a three way? leads to a much happier life than a two-way, that's for sure. At least for me. Let me stop. <laughs> so I wonder what I should be doing tomorrow in this game. I'm gonna kill you! No. The pig people are nice. I think. Unless if they aren't, in which case I will destroy them. How does one get to the gosh darn desert from here? Wolverine, Cyclops, and John Gray had a relationship like that in the Krakora era comics and X-Men. Well, dang. I ship Wolverine and John Gray. Um, yeah, what about... What about Cyclops and John Gray? Eh, screw it, just have both of them. Oh, gosh! A.V., you scared me! Build a boat and cross the water. Not in this. Not in uh, Don't Starve and Reign of Giants. But you can in Don't Starve Together and Don't Starve Shipwrecked. In fact, in Shipwrecked, that's the main gimmick. Evie just took 10 years off of Shara's lifespan with that scare. Yeah, it was real scary stuff. Gosh. Everyone got a heart attack from that crazy jump scare. Look at all of those tumbleweeds.
Holy crap, it's papyrus. Oh wait, no, they're cut reeds. I don't know why I thought it looked like papyrus. That is a big bird. I, I don't know if I want the gnome. I am overwhelmed. I'll take the gnome. Oh my god, it's a hound. It's a hound in natural habitat. Leave me alone. It left me alone. Oh, I see. It's an entire biome dedicated to stupid hounds. I don't like this biome. Bone. Chester. I am never letting go of this eye bone. Oh crap, I just realized that I need to be building a campfire. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I was... This is why you gotta pay attention. Shit. That cut off my entire lifespan. Look at my elf. And it dropped my sanity. That was not cool. <laughs> I'm way off on chat because I'm trying to survive in this game. Thank you all for coming though. any of that are any of us truly sane to answer that we need to talk about parallel universes no none of us are sane 
Some of us just like to believe we're more sane than others. By saying very complicated sentences. And people like those complicated sentences, so they sympathize with them. I should have made a summer hat by now. A straw hat. Am I back? I am not back at all. I'm just gonna get more and more wet until the world erases me from existence. Get me out of the swamp. How big is this swamp? Oh. Hmm. If I recall... If I recall, smashing those give you, uh... The pig things. The pig things are very good. Soothing to listen to someone race through Don't Starve Experience, the best worst ga the game has to offer. <laughs> uh, my character is hungry. Well, it's time to smash these. Let's get out of the swamp. I am heading straight for... I just wanted to make sure my uh, orientation was correct. I'm heading straight for that worm hole. Because holy crap, the swamp is not fun. I just want to get back to my base. I missed it. Why is a pumpkin dog chasing me? Because I picked up an eye bone. And this is Chester. He, he carries my stuff. Not because he wants to, but because he has no other choice. Because this eye bone is his literal eye. So I think with this I can make some healing stuff. Uh, 
I don't know why, but my sanity is decreasing pretty quickly. I think times like this is when I gotta craft. Oh, now he's decreasing even more? Why is it- Why is it decreasing so fast? Why is it decreasing so fast? Oh, it's... I guess- I guess wearing the garland was even worse for my sanity. And now I am going to go insane. But it's okay, because if I keep going in this general direction, that will lead me back to the base and I can craft a bunch of stuff to become smart again. least get me out of the desert. You have got to be kidding me. Stop raiding. Watch Crossroads, that'll do in your sanity in a single viewing. Now house a bathhouse, the worst of two evils. Are there houses? They belong to uh, the pigs. Okay, I need to stop going into the darkness because it's going to make me go even crazier. And if I become too crazy, then I'm going to have to deal with some actual demons. Give me flowers. V for Venda Mass, and we'll mess with you then. You're right. That was a solution all along. doesn't seem to be decreasing my sanity as much. All right, base. I need base now. Am 
My stomach is a shriveled up corpse of its former shelf. Shelf. Former shelf. Wow. I can talk. Pick it up. We are eating. Tonight, we dine. Now, what can I research? Literally anything. I do not care if it's not that helpful or not. I just want sanity. Apparently this is really good armor. to make was a crock pot because crock pots are amazing at least it warns you about going dark it's polite fill a spaceship and leave this world behind that's what I should do hello Silva glad to see you here thank you for stopping by Hope you're doing well. I'm going to light a tree on fire. What does this luxury axe even do? Well, it lasts longer, that's for sure. Oh my god, it's a full moon. I can actually do stuff. Oh wait, that also means ghosts come out.
Now if I... Now if I wanted to show a brilliant showcase of my mental state, I could burn down this entire forest. But I'm not going to, because I like having an okay mental state. That would bring on global warming, you're absolutely right, and that's why I ultimately came to the conclusion that it's probably best that I don't burn down this forest, despite how much I really want to. What I will instead do is find a singular tree and burn it down instead. Because I want charcoal. There is no curing the plague which has cursed this land. Burn it to the ground. My name is Radu, and this is Jackass. I should probably get more stones, shouldn't I? Give me charcoal. Yeah. Do not tell me that this will light up the other trees around it. You absolute sack of fooey. It is raining again. You know what? I'm okay because I have enough stuff to make the crock pot. Maybe there's a portal that brings you to the domain of Fallout where it's 100% worse. I guess it probably is a little worse there. At least you can survive here. Alright, what's it gonna take for that crock pot? I got enough. I can make better food! At the cost of multiple items, so I'm going to find other uh, filling. I also need... Wait. I got grass for something. That grass was to get a straw hat. That way I can actually function. <gasps> Wait a minute. Ice. Ice is nice. he was great about ice is that it serves as filling in a crock pot. I'm now going to show you how I am an iron chef.
The Stone Star changed its theme background during the holidays, like Halloween and Xmas. I believe it does and don't starve together. I don't know if it does for this game. Give me that meatball. Ooh, look at that. I'm tempted to eat this, but I feel like it's it would only do me harm. How do I make an ice box? Oh my god. Wait. I think I can get gears from one of the enemies in that marble biome. It's also risky because... Yeah, I don't know if I want to chance it. You. Eat my garland. And my red cap. Am I really Yosuke Suga? <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Adopt a bison. How do I do that? No. Please do not tell me I just heard what I thought I heard. Son of a biscuit, I have to fight again. This might be where I die. It's about to be hound time. Hounds are coming. Alright, who's the beast? Thought there was a co elephant. Guess not. Well, I might as well cook berries in my last day of life. Makes me look like a, a a warrior hiccup. No. All right, good for me. I won. How was it only one? I thought there was supposed to be multiple. Wait a minute, can I make the healing thing? Oh no, that's what the healing solve. Can't do that. We gotta heal the normal way. I get to live another day. Hello, Raven. 
how are you? And welcome. I have bathed in the blood of my defeated enemies, and I have consumed them. They now lie in the belly of the beast. No worries, Raven. That was a no damage run of that uh, hog attack. Pretty proud of what happened there. Hello from Japan. Ooh. I've never visited Japan before. A lot of my friends have, but I have not. <laughs> it is butchered on a regular basis. I I butcher it because I pronounced because I pronounce permanently by saying permanently. I like scary games like John does stuff. I've never heard of that game, but I do occasionally like scary games. I played, I played uh, some Resident Evil games, specifically seven and eight. I played the vast majority of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Does Phasmophobia count as a scary game? Because I've played that quite a bit. I just realized it's hardcore raining. I should probably make a pretty parasol. What number wormhole is this? This is the fifth wormhole I have found. Alright, so phasmophobia counts. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can make some su suggestions, scary game suggestions. I I haven't really played a lot of uh, horror games lately. I should probably get back into it. Build up my uh, my what do you call it? Oh my god! I can no longer carry any flint. That is astonishing. Sally face? I haven't played that. No, we were talking about scary movies earlier, Raven. 
That's why we were a little confused. Thank God it stopped raining. It's always when I make a pretty parasol. Oh. I don't think I need this. It's gonna come back to bite me in the ass, isn't it? Hey, wait a minute, I just realized something. Hey, Peter! It's dark outside. The rain does sound nice in this game. a mod for Minecraft that turns into a J-Horror nightmare. <laughs> Dang. I imagine that's a sight to behold. Give me all your ass. Remember when freezing to death was a possibility in this game? in a while. Oh yeah, I've also played Alien Isolation. Or actually, I played the survival mode. I didn't... I couldn't get into the story mode. So I barely... I barely played Alien Isolation, actually. But I should probably get into the story mode sometime. Is it, it uh, that one is also a good horror game. Did I drop the Oh, I thought I dropped the eye bone cuz he wasn't following me. What is this? Um you're not gonna I'm gonna run off with this. Where am I? Any Demon Slayer fans? I haven't really played any of it, so I can't really say I'm I'm one. Oh, it's not a game. I'm... Right. Sorry. My bad. I, I forgot. I forgot. I live under a rock, so there's a lot of stuff I don't know. <laughs> That's what y'all will come to know about me. You'll mention a thing. You'll say, Hey, Ryder, have you heard of this? Or, or sorry, no, you, you'll, you'll say, Hey, Ryder, have you seen this? I'm like, I've never even heard of it. What are you talking about? I'm going to be like, Oh, wow. You're incredibly uncultured, aren't you? I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. I don't know. I don't know about a lot of things. Because I like to stay in my cozy little rock. Until I come out to do some cool things. What are those? Holy whack a -mole, It shoots lightning!
I have a bit of a voice range. Sometimes I am more monotone and relaxed like this. And then other times I go absolutely crazy! Never watched any Pokemon. You enjoy the Transformers Japanese series books. I, it's funny because I haven't seen any of the Transformers Japanese books, but I've watched a little bit of the Pokemon and anime when I was a kid a very, very long time ago, so I don't really remember anything about it. <laughs> I should probably stop jumping into those. But it's just too much fun. And if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be picking up uh, pieces of shit right now. Uh, I I'm I have severe brain rot in this very moment because I don't know what to do. Fuck okay, it, eat the carrots. We need manure. Excuse me. Fellow beefalo, I'm gonna take some of your manure. Uh, I find it beneficial. Uh, I hope it. Uh, I hope it's not important to you or anything. Uh, just uh, don't mind me. I, I'ma just. Uh, I'ma just take this stuff. Just. Uh, you know, do 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 whatever you want with all the grass, you know, and stuff in the lamb. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this. Do I do I do any voice acting stuff? You're doing a lot of voice acting stuff. Oh that's cool. At the moment I don't I haven't really done any voice acting. I mean, I do narration for the scripts that I do. I've voiced some characters and some of some skits I do for some of my uh for some of my videos in VR chat. I voiced some characters in a story time video I made a long time ago or it wasn't that long ago. It was about a year and a half ago. So not really any kind of actual voice acting stuff but I've always wanted to try it because I think it would be very interesting I'm in the middle of nowhere actually wait I'm right below my base America did put the nail in the coffin, Transformers. We ruin most things Japan send over to us. I hate how accurate that is. Us Americans really do butcher a lot of good stuff, don't we? Voice acting is an amazing profession. Hearing the same actors did X-Men cartoon in the 90s reenact their roles for a new 97 show is quite nostalgic. Nice. Working on making a Japanese dub for Underverse. Nice. That's cool. Knowing that Steven Yoon is the voice of Invincible blows my mind. Oh gosh, he is. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Shoot. Yeah, congrats, Raven. 
Sounds like a really cool opportunity. Struggling to get the voice right. The voice right. I'm sure you'll get it down. I'm sure the. If it's like a other, if it's a, what is it? Um, I'm sure you'll find a way to nail it down. I really picked a bad spot for my base. Six manure. We do not have time for improved farms. We need results. pretty good for meat because you get jerky and it gives you lots of health people call nightmare an octopus dang Martin. I've been fooled by I've been fooled by a lot of things. So I'm not going to say that. times that my friends have uh, it does sound like a trap knowing all the times my friends have set me up for cruel jokes uh, I'm not going to say that because I feel like it's going to lead into something very naughty or very bad I'm just referring to... Oh, no, I'm referring to, um... I'm referring to something in the chat. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't some... It wasn't something you said. Basically, I was saying, oh, if... I say this thing that if I say this thing that this person put in chat or what Martin put in chat then I have no idea what it could lead to <laughs> especially since that's the first thing you say when you enter the chat then again it's not entirely unrelated because I did say jerky earlier To get jerky from a drying rack in this game. 
maybe they've been they've been watching a while and suddenly now they say something that way I can say a quote or something they want. I don't know. Until I get to know you, I will not repeat said quote. Because I believe it is a trap. And I have fallen for many traps in my days. Chester, you just ate poop. How do you feel? I should be making... Oh, right. I was looking for... I was looking for grass. All this is gonna turn into rot if I don't find grass! Stay cool. My main enemy at the moment is inventory space. Oh. I had to make a fire pit. Harry Payton voiced a number of characters in Young Justice. Yeah, I'd imagine so as well. My cats are downstairs, vibing. Back with your cookies, your cat is chilling with you now. Epic. I love my cats. One of my cats only tolerates me so I can do so I can do what they want. But my other cat freaking adores me. And I freaking adore her. Don't disturb sleeping cats, you'll end up cursed. Cats are not very happy when they are woken up. Now, why is my character's mental state going downhill? I feel like I need to invent something to increase my, uh... My sanity. Oh, 
Oh crap, did I eat soggy food? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, my character's hungry. I need to eat something. I'm gonna do something stupid. I have a helmet, so I'm prepared for combat. I'm going to kill... A U. Ah, you're fast. That's what I wanted. All right, let's go back. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting you to say that, Chris. Oh, damn. Okay. I did, I did not expect that. <laughs> I'm not really a dog person either. Despite the fact that I have three dogs. Sorry, two dogs. I'm not- I'm- I'm not crazy about dogs either. Something's chasing me. Oh yeah, it is my... Yeah, this is my... This is my chest pet. This is Chester. He loves me. Totally. Totally doesn't tolerate me because I'm carrying his eye, which is his only sort of... His only source of sight. Not in the slightest. Now I need food, so I'm chopping a bunch of birch, birch nut trees. Bone key or something to make him follow me so he can store more items. Hmm. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I don't know that much about this game. They are quite realistic. The sound attack, the sound effects are quite realistic. And yes, this is very intense tree chopping. I need to get back to my base ASAP, that way I can eat all of these birch nuts that I have just been gifted to the world. That's only going to keep me alive for so long.
Good thing I made the ice box. If I can have some, if I can get some meat, then I can actually have use for this melting ice. Mostly kill as most animals you can in winter. Then we can kill Krampus for that sack. <laughs> for that sack. I want to check on how my farm's doing. I'll add one more to the fire. Oh, it's doing just fine. Gah, it's growing so slowly. Krampus only comes when your naughty meter is near 31 to 50. So there actually is a naughty meter. And it's just hidden. I did not know that. But I know Krampus is in the game. I just didn't know how he appears. I wonder what would happen if I tried to kill this raccoon. Hey, get back here. That pig just ate rot. to kill the uh prepare to get warm clothes on day 21 that's when winter starts but isn't it spring because do the music it's like i feel like it's spring right now if anything i gotta prepare for summer right day 15 yeah but for some reason it, it was spring that i had to deal with first as my first season funnily enough the same thing happened to me last time i picked up an item it's autumn Then why is it raining so much? Why the Rolling Stones stop making music? Because they got to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Thank you and good night.
Did that wormhole lead me anywhere? I forgot. I'm tempted to jump in another one. Because I haven't seen a lot of progress in a while. Son of a biscuit. That's it. I am getting a stupid amount of wood. Or sorry, not wood. Uh. Oh wait, these bears are gonna get wet. Why do I not have a lot of inventory space? It's my fault. Actually, Chester, take these. It's immune to fire. Holy crap. I didn't know that. I guess that would make sense. Isn't Krampus a demon? Makes sense if he's kind of like, you know, immune to fire. Thank your boyfriend for that joke. Both make a lot of jokes like that. <laughs> they are very comical. It's a 1% chance drop, so get killing. Well, I will kill whatever I see in sight. Unless if, if, unless if it's a boss, in which case it'll probably kick my ass. You. I really don't know what I want to keep anymore. The razor's useless until it won't be useless. I actually don't have enough for the, uh... Yes, I do. Holy crap. Yeah, the because because the effects of spring are happening right now. The afternoon is so, or the dusk is so long. Don't don't shave your beard in winter. Oh yeah, I know that's like the prime time to not shave your beard. Excuse me. Also hounds. straw hat go. Time for combat again. Let me eat these. They are coming! Why are there three of them? There were two of them in the, the first time. I'm gonna die. That was close. Alright. 
I need to I need to head back to base after that because holy shit I almost died oh yeah the straw hat is what keeps my face warm or no no sorry not the straw hat the beard the beard the beard I don't know if I should be having it now or not, but... I'm only one subscriber away from 700. That will be quite the milestone. Thank you all, by the way. For that many subscriptions and of course being here it means the world you sub so I'm at 700 Woo! let's go Seven Hondo. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Was a nosy pepper do. It gets jalapeno business. <laughs> nice. I ate soggy food. Yes, I know I ate soggy food. I right, here. I'll hold on to this. These soggy meatballs. Does it decrease my sanity to eat soggy food? Because if it does, that's good to know. Also, I put this in the ice box then. Has any more ice formed?
I didn't mean to eat that. Is it still soggy? It's not soggy. Screw it, I'm eating it. That was not worth shit. Because I already had a full tummy. It increases your wetness. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh shit, it's about to be night. I was about to go hunting or something. I guess that won't be happening. Alright, I'll craft the hay wall because the game told me to. I'm not gonna use it. Because I don't have a use for it. If anything, I'm prototyping stuff to keep my mental state up. much longer to go until we, uh... Tooth trap steps, pops up and bites whoever steps on it. What if I made a trap for... Actually, I don't know if that'd be worth it. I'm gonna say make a trap for, uh... Ham... <laughs> Ham bat. I'm going on a quest. Mole? Is there a mole nearby? There are moles, uh, in other places I should probably kill. Oh, trap for mole. Yeah, that makes sense. Best way to get naughtiness to increase to fight Krampus. I feel like Krampus is gonna kick my ass. If I can barely handle a hog, I feel like I don't I, I don't think I'd be able to handle Krampus. But I guess I could try. You have got to be kidding me. It just rained. HP. I guess 300 HP isn't the worst. Alright, I should probably discover where this goes. Well, 
Wait, I already, I already found that out. I'm stupid. Don't go in wormholes so often. Is it, um... Does it decrease your sanity? Oh, it drains your sanity. I see. Makes sense. I suppose Wilson does say that was not a sane thing to do. I didn't really notice a, an overall decrease in, uh... Oh my god, spiders! It has been ten years since I have last discovered a spider. Fighting a spider now would be a bad idea, considering I have 24 HP. Don't you dare attack my luxurious chest. Hey, I... I will risk my life for that. Are spiders the most annoying don't starve mob? I feel like it'd be like hounds or something, but I guess they do fo I guess they do follow you for a good while before they finally give up. Oh right, I have a parasol. Spiders and hounds. Yeah, hounds... Uh, hounds are what annoy the shit out of me. Seems to be a lot of beehives here. Oh my god, is that an abandoned farm? Hmm. Don't carry meat while in the bunny village. They hate meat. Good to know. gotta go. Alright. See you around, Raven. Thanks for stopping by. You know what most food does. 
Normally I'm not really a fan of backseating, but I've seen a lot of content in this game, so I don't really mind that much. You played and died at 79 days. Dang. That's pretty far. You died to a spider. Oh no. What the heck? Is it where I need to have a fishing hook or something? I have so many flowers or petals. Marble tree. Hmm. I guess free marble wouldn't harm. Shame I'm not carrying any. Left your armor in your chest, forgot to activate a respawn, or you forgot what they were called. You left it in there and thought you had a... Oh, that's, those are harmful bees. Hi, tall bird. I don't want anything to do with you. That's a big footprint. Oh wait, it's a walrus camp. Yeah, those are killer bees. I'll target you. No matter what you do. Yeah, I thought... I, I don't know why I thought... I thought it was like a giant elephant footprint or something. Realize the camp. I don't know. Big things scare me in this game. It's getting late. It will be dark soon. I don't know if you are or not.
Yeah, this is a these are co-elephant tracks. I should probably be careful because last time I faced off against a co-elephant, it kicked my ass. But that was also a winter co-elephant. I don't know if they're stronger or not. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to camp near this biscuit. this straw hat in here. I should have made... Actually, I can make a grass suit. We'll temporarily leave my backpack here. We'll put this on, and now we are ready for combat. Yeah, I had no armor. Aw, I took a little poop. Let's kill it. That hurt. Attack. I have solved world hunger. I don't know if a breezy vest count as armor or not. I need to work on my inventory management. this in the chest somewhere. Why do I always mess with inventory? I can always get charcoal later. Actually, that is true. The football helmet is almost gone. I should make my way back to the base. Which is all the way up there. Yeah, I might need to make a new football helmet soon. There's a number of walrus camps around here. Oh, god. Okay. Well, I guess it's, uh... Yeah, I traveled quite a lengthy distance. Did I... Yeah, the football helmet is gonna... It's 
it's gonna die soon. I can make another one. I have plenty of pig skin. Hello, beefalo. Last day till the snow. Yes, sir. Hopefully that means the last day of this stupid rain. Now I hope that all of my uh, ice hasn't melted. Summer, yeah, I, I, I heard, I've heard brutal things about summer. Cause I hear it's like, gosh, I, I heard I've heard nightmare stories about, uh, summer, because I hear it's hot, and there's not a lot of ways to keep yourself cool, so it must be a nightmare. Put all that meat in the fridge. Eggplant. I'm eating it. Mmm, yummy. Eh, it doesn't hurt to make more. Thank you, Lightning Rod, for saving me. The power's mine. I'm gonna get more ice. There's no more ice. You know, aside from health, I'm doing pretty good. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs.
better heal that health. Yeah, might as well. Come here, meatballs. That was not very good for, uh... That was not very good for healing health at all. Ah, that was a uh, waste. I don't know what I don't know what a good healing item is. Actually, I know that there's uh, spider glands I can make. Or, sorry, healing salve that requires spider gland and ashes. But I have not killed a spider. So the question is, does this qualify as a spring? Is it summer? Well, the day is much longer. Um, I think it might be summer. If that's the case, I'm remaking that I'm remaking that razor. I don't know, it's still spring according to this game. See, that's... See, that's the thing. The game started me out in spring. I don't know why it started me out in spring, but it did. Keep having delay. Check on the stream, actually. Seems to be doing fine. Broken golden thing. Yeah, it broke. Oh, now I'm starting to get hot. See, now that's rot that's just rotten. Oh, I just realized I have eight pig skin. Yeah, it, I, I don't know why it started me in spring. I The worst part is I hear summer is brutal because apparently fires can start for no, absolutely no reason. That being said, I'm going to be an idiot.
This was a terrible spot to be in it. Please get me out of here. Oh my god. I I can't. We're leaving. We are leaving. Ah. Ah. That sucked. That was utter torture. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard it. I've heard the horror stories of Deer Clops. doing uh do i meatballs i do not good thing we can make some actually let's try out that eggplant i don't know how much that yield Is it even possible for- actually I- wait. Jerky. I hope it doesn't stay wet. Speaking of wet. Oh damn. Okay, I guess the eggplant must be pretty solid. Probably could have saved that. Pumpkin. Main objective. Read the game title. Don't starve. Starving is the way I die the least in this game. Oh my gosh. Imagine if it turns winter right now and I freeze because I shaved Wilson's stupid beard. No! No! Oh my god. This is the worst case scenario! Okay. We have to make Okay, we need to make the thing now. Shit, how do I? Okay, I need rope. Rope. Alright, and 
this, and this. Alright, we're ready for combat. Welcome back, Raven. Once again, I will remind my loyal viewers that I am shit at combat in this game. Well, I guess it's summer now. I'm gonna go chop some trees. Oh, you son of a bitch. I have never made it to summer in this game before. Bisexual, but completely single. Guess I mean I'm on standby. Ooh. That would be unfortunate if I died to overheating. To be honest, that's probably the only way I see myself dying. Do I get hotter when I'm wearing a backpack? Oh my god. Wait, it's summer. That means no more ice! No! for my health. Anyways. Well, I guess I will only be putting this stuff on for combat. Actually, give me this stuff because... This should really be going in here. I should use the breezy vest as armor instead. You just can't think straight. <laughs> eh. Don't worry about it. I don't know how much better my humor is.
Well, I can tell you this. If we were playing as Wix, uh, we would probably be dead. Find a coke. Find a coconut. Then it's Wilson. Get Maxwell resources. Be easy to get. Got to beat the game to get Maxwell. That's true. Is it possible to beat? Is it possible to beat the game in Reign of Giants? Because this is Reign of this is a Reign of Giants file. But do I just have to play normal? Don't starve. You find a coconut. Name it Wilson. Oh my god! I just made that connection. Wait, I can or can't beat the game in Reign of Giants? Not in Reign of Giants. Okay, so in Reign of Giants, my objective is just to survive. Just normal game. I probably should have done normal game then. Are all of the seasons, uh, like... Autumn... Winter, spring, and summer in the normal game. Because I never remember them being in the normal game. I only remember them being in Reign of Giants. Then again, I haven't played the game without Reign of Giants in forever. Are those embers? Oh my god. I am heating up. I am on fire. safe under this tree. Oh my god. I'm not safe. Okay, I'm safe. I feel like I found a cave way earlier in this game, but I don't remember where it is. So here's my crazy conspiracy theory. What if I could cheat summer and hang out in the caves for the entire summer? Will I still fry like bacon? There's a cave entrance over here that could keep me away from the spiders. Ah, 
caves protect me from any heat. And that's the play. We gotta hide in the caves. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ice, ice, baby, baby, ice, ice, baby, baby, ice, 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 ice. Not even ice will keep me safe. Oh, if I hold ice, I'm fine. But I have to hold ice. And that shit melts quickly. No, it's because I'm eating ice. Because I'm eating ice. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a cave. Wait a minute. That backpack has my eye bone. Right. I forgot I kind of need that. I am going to fry. Bring a lot of food. Sounds like a hecking plan. Isn't the ice... Does the ice box protect me? Hmm. If I carry this ice, it's gonna melt. I'm making more meatballs. Well, it's, well, it's dusk now. It's probably not that hot. You know what? Let's use the rest of the ice to make stuff. Bring food to the caves. You're right, don't starve. The thermal stone is warm just from existing. That's how hot summer is. Oh my god, stop it! Stop it! I'm running, I'm running! Running will keep me cool. I'm fast like the wind. Hey, wait, that actually worked. Bring a flower hat. That is true. No, it melted! The ice melted. Well. See, the thing is, this stuff is gonna spoil. But these won't. Alright. Survive one more night and I'm making my... Making a great... Great trip. Oh wait, I can make the flower hat. There we go. These meatballs are gonna spoil. I should have made I should have made all of them with the uh, fresh ingredients.
Let's make some fresh meatballs. Nah. What do you mean, nah? nuts right fuck I'm burning I'm burning alive I'm hot I'm hot like fire I'm not cooling down am I oh no 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 I need a tree I need a fully grown tree no, I'm burning! Oh my god, I just left! I'm gonna die. The icebox is. It it that that won't help. You know what? I have a touchstone. I'm gonna pick my stuff up on the way. Well. New day, new me. I'm still gonna die of heat. I'm certainly crazier than I once was. Wow. Yeah, if you don't if you don't have a tree like right by you, then you're going to die. So, okay, I think the plan is I'm just gonna grab my stuff and I'm just gonna have to yeet it through that cave. Chester might die. How are you? Fine! Does this count as shade? It does. Barely. Have I reached maximum potential? Is this the coolest I'm gonna get? No freaking way. Ow! A thermal stone can be brought near an endothermic fire. 
or endothermic fire pit to cool it or place in a stationary icebox or a mobile snow chester to freeze it. Why did I not think of that? Why did I not think to put the thermal stone in the icebox? Oh my gosh, thank you. Why did I not think of that? Yeah, I'm seeing demons. It'll be a while before I actually have to fight the demons, but... Yeah, no thanks. I, I actually did not think to do that. That'll probably keep me... That'll probably keep me fine, just like in winter. So my stuff is right there. I'm gonna wait for it to turn dusk. Because it's decently cool then. Am I gonna catch on fire? No, okay, I'm fine. So I'm gonna get my stuff, I'm gonna... You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Yeah, the demons are, uh, demons are pretty, uh, pretty vibrant. Where's my stuff? Oh, it's up there. Oh my god. Not even dusk can... Not even dusk can save me anymore. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Bail that. I didn't stand a chance. Gosh darn it, man. Man, summer's brutal. Yeah, I tried to put the thermal stone in. I did, I did not have the health to survive winter. Yeah, okay. I thought, for the longest time, I thought winter was, like, the hardest shit. Like, I thought, like, oh god, winter is, like, this ultimate test. Like, this point, the game completely changes. You, you gotta do... You gotta play the game completely differently. Once you make it past that, you're set. This is worse. This is way worse. I don't even know why. Um, I I don't even know why. Uh, I I started. Um. What is it? these days I, I guess I'm well, I guess I did make it uh, 
22 days. I died of overheating. Longest I've lived is 28 days. I died once of starvation. That's a rarity. Dang. Yeah, I've died quite a bit. I used to play this game quite a lot. Kind of stopped playing it for a bit, but I figured I'd hop into it for a stream. Who knows, maybe I'll stream it again. I might stream it again. I don't know. I had fun doing this, and... It was really weird starting off with, uh, Spring. Like, I've never had that happen before. I start off with spring, and then I've never had it to where I pick up that one chest. Or, no, I don't pick up the chest. I loot that one chest, and that release, like, the evil spirits that cause it to turn winter instantly. And that ruined my run. I didn't even know that could happen. I guess you learn something every... You learn something new every day with this game. <sighs> but, um... Yeah. So I ought to... Close off now. Um, thank you all very much... For tuning in. This is... Definitely one of the most successful streams I've had in a while. Um, I'm going to stop streaming now. I've been live for... How long have I been live for? Four hours. Yeah, I've been live for a while. I think I'm going to stop now. But yeah, th uh, thanks a ton for um, joining. Um, if I play this again... I'm definitely going to uh, keep in mind for freaking summer to put the thermal stone in the stupid ice chest. Alright, you have a good day at work, Raven. And to the rest of you, thank you all for uh, tuning in. Thank you all for the support on the uh, Terraria retrospective. It's been immense. I massively appreciate it. Uh, can't wait to bring more. Um, don't know when I'm going to stream again. But hopefully it won't be too long from now. Uh, so with that, I take my leave. Uh, thank you all for watching. Screw summer. Y'all have a good night. Or morning. Or day. Or evening. Or wherever you are. Bye.